what's going on Scorpio gang 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 hope all is well with you guys to my return OG subscribers what's going on what's popping what's good to my newly subscribed hey y'all thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow I really do appreciate that to my members only community I love you guys you know that to the moon and back period you click it on this video it is a Scorpio affair Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your steak. Okay, some of y'all be eating a little, little lunch, a little dinner when y'all be listening to me. Whatever it takes, guys, for you to tap into these energies like we do around about this time. And it goes without saying, like, subscribe, join, tip the channel. Let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. So let's tap in Scorpio like we always do around about this time. Your first energy out is control how you respond to things sent to destroy your peace. Amen. It is only a test, Scorpio. Cause I feel like if you, if you controlling how you how you respond to a narrative, Scorpio, I feel like that is what's gonna keep your peace, and I feel like it's gonna aggravate other people' demons, cause they always expect us to act a certain type of way to come out of bag on a bitch, and it's like, if y'all know what I've been through in 2022, and if y'all know what God purposed in my life and what I'm believing for, believing Him for for 2023. I, I, I can't I can't argue with y'all no more. I can't hang with y'all no more. I can't be in the gossip group with y'all no more. I'm going I'm going other places. I'm going I'm 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 about to find a new tribe of people. People who are expiring to go where I'm going, people who are going in that same direction, people who, you know, they they're not gonna be in the same place they was in last year. Who am I talking to? That's your energy and it's like Somebody just trying to, you know, fuck with you. And it's like, nah, you can't get under my skin no more. This is somebody who used to be able to control your emotions, Scorpio. They knew how to, you know, push your buttons. Not no more. What they don't know is you're not the same. You're not that same little girl that they met when you was in high school, you know, and you left your mama house and went with them. Who am I talking to? You're not that same little girl no more. A lot has changed since then. You've been through more experiences than just them. This person caught up in the experience of you still. The overall energy is in reverse. Let me see. Let me see. It says like that. Like that. There you were. You cared. You cured every illness, loss, and questioned my sanity. Thank you for catching me through it all. That's your overall energy, Scorpio. Like, who got time for low vibrational energy in people? Who got time to, to just keep repeating these cycles just to have somebody in your bed? I'll wait. Definitely not Scorpio, but if it's anybody else, some cross watches or whatever, I'll wait. Because it ain't Scorpio. Yeah, I like that overall energy. All your all our overall energy is just coming out like, you know, badass. Just like we're not accepting the, the mediocre shit no more. That's just, you know, miss me with the bullshit type energy. That's that's another energy that's high vibrational. Miss me with the bullshit energy. Yeah, I'm all about that. And then you have good man. With that type of temperament, that type of control, that type of empress energy. You can't attract nothing but good shit. So if a man coming to, towards you, are you attracting him? He got to be good. Whether you want him or not. He just can't come into your he can't come into your 5D with that bullshit. And that's just that on that. I don't know who I'm talking to. I feel like I'm preaching now. Control how you respond to ignorant ass people, Scorpio. Now that's been one of my things I've really been having to work on. Ever since the last little incident. Look at this. Look at this incident. It's just going straight up. Um, control. 
control things that are sent to kill your peace. Destroy your peace. It ain't going to work. It says parent rejection and denial. Okay, somebody dealing with those type of issues. You know, feeling inadequate, not enough, always trying to please somebody else, try to please your parents, you know, so that them went over into you trying to be just a, a, a people pleaser. I feel like that's your person, though, Scorpio, not you. you. You never in that energy. We're loyal, yeah, we're in a connection, yeah, we might go the distance, but we're not trying to be a people pleaser. We're trying to care for you. You're guarded. That's what this shit, this, see, Scorpio, I said this in the other video, like, people tell, tell Scorpio to stop being guarded, let your guards down, open up. No. No. Hell no. I'd rather stay guarded than be open. I'm just, that's just that on that. Because the way people are, it's like when they see you open, you open for attack. So I'm saying, this in the middle of your reading, your source says stay guarded. <laughs> Keep motherfuckers out your business, out your face. Yeah, why? Because you protect it. And protect your sanity and your peace at all costs. You know, don't come out of bag on nobody. It ain't no, it, it, it's only a test, Scorpio. I keep wanting to energetically say that, like, the more you elevate from this type of situation, the better you're going to see and the more you're going to see. And why? Because, Scorpio, you alter the atmosphere when you come into a situation. You do that. So, automatically somebody going to try to steal your peace at every cost. Like, that's the only thing they got that they feel like they can dis disrupt. So, I just feel like you, you being guarded and protected, both of them things working together, you good. You ain't coming out the bag on nobody. You can look a, a person in the face that's opposing you and smile. And be like, that's your opinion. They like assholes. Everybody got one. I got one too. And I respect yours just like you respect mine. And we can move forward. We can agree to disagree. Who am I talking to? It says your person is emotionally immature. And I won't go back to daycare. That's just period. Why would I go back? Why would, why would, I, why would, I, what, why would I move backwards for you to possibly move forward? No, I, I'm done with the helping. <coughs> yeah, pussy power. That's another reason why they bad. <coughs> this person can't get over the sex. That's really what's happening. That's really what's going on. The pussy power, dick power, call it what you want to call it. But you guard it. You, you already on guard for this. You already know that's what's going on. Scorpio, you done thought about every scenario with this person. Whatever scenario it is, wherever they trying to come, come from with this shit, it's not going to work. <coughs> Excuse me. That third eye is just like open. Wide open. It's like when you see this person, all your whole top part of your fucking from here on up <coughs> turn the one eye on his ass. This person always been suspect, I'm here. Why is control how you respond to things sent to destroy your peace here for Scorpio? Give me clear, concise messages for Scorpio here. What are the messages? Yeah, I feel like, too, like, for the rest of this year, I feel like it's going to be a lot of people coming towards you. Scorpio, jealous, envious, trying to steal your peace. Okay, people trying to take you outside of your character. Don't let them do it. Because you know why? They don't know what your character is no more. That's the old you. They still trying to deal with the Scorpio from um, 30 days ago. That ain't the same Scorpio. We transformed too much, boo. You dealing with you dealing with your demons now. Whoever this is, they dealing with their demons now. Cause you're no longer mirroring them. You've moved on. You heal this shit and you ain't letting them project shit. So they, you know, it's like it's given. You need to get your shit together. For you want to come towards Scorpio. Let's cut the cards and, and go into the tarot, Scorpio. Yeah, period. The overall energy on the bottom of the deck. The death card. What did I just say? <clears throat> that this person coming, you done transformed a hundred times since the last time you fucked with this person. That this person can't get in your head. This person can't steal your peace. You killed this motherfucker a thousand times. This person that died a thousand deaths 
in your mind, in your heart, in your soul, that's a, that's done. Like, it ain't no need for you to come towards me, like, period. We good. You know, whatever it was we had, we had, that's a wrap. Shit. Oh. What else here? Why is death here? Yeah, the nine of wands in reverse. This person just, it's like they ain't got no pride. <laughs> Like, Scorpio, they, they'll come toward you and, and, and try to, you know, sell you this damn swamp land at any cost. At any cost. The Nine of Wands in reverse. This person could be very much so manipulative, too. I'm hearing a drug addict, somebody who steal money out your purse. And you want what? A second chance with who? Yeah, the Hereford in reverse. This person, don't, this person don't have no... This person has a total disregard for authority. This person don't care anything about the police. I'm hearing too, this person a stalker. Definitely into a connection. Whether it be a marriage, whether it be your baby daddy, whatever this is. I just feel like Scorpio, instead of you like arguing with this person and confrontating with them, you just handled your business. You just filed for divorce and moved on. Like, you can't understand why this person thinking, you know, maybe it's the holidays. I keep saying it's the holidays, but I don't know what the fuck it is. Why is good man here? This person know you're a good man or woman, Scorpio. That's one thing. The king of cups in reverse. Oh, you just don't feel the same. You don't feel the same away, the same way about this person. You don't feel like they're a good protector and provider and spouse or you know, counterpart, or, you know, you just don't, you don't see yourself being attached to this person. Yeah, the king of pentacles in reverse. Everything about this person is turning up, is coming up in reverse. This person emotionally immature as fuck. The king of pentacles in reverse, they're not stable. They still don't got their shit together. Like I said, the message is get your shit together before you even try to come back towards Scorpio. You're not coming back to Scorpio, but at least if you want to, you know, I don't know what this is. Resolve some shit. Talk about some shit. At least come back, you know, forthcoming. <laughs> don't come back empty-handed. Yeah, the fool in reverse. This person never had enough courage or faith, Scorpio, to pair up with you. I'm hearing they couldn't believe their luck. I always hear that. Like, they feel like they really scored. <laughs> but that's about it with the fool in reverse. This person don't have no dreams, no aspirations. This person going to always be in the same place doing the same shit with the same people. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person not trying to make no sound investment in family. He, This person don't want a high level of commitment, Scorpio, with you. This person want to control you. This person want to come back and say, you know what, I, 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 I conquered you this time. I got one over on you, know. Not at all. Parent rejection and denial. I feel like no, that's one of the reasons why you were even with this person. Because this was somebody who paid you attention. But see, the thing about people who wear masks and the thing about people who lie and connive, they're not able to maintain it. With that King of Cups and the King, the King of Cups in reverse, the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Fool in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse, the Nine of Wands in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Everything about this person is ill-intended. The only reason you ended up with somebody emotionless and penniless is because you're still trying to get acceptance from your parents. Who am I talking to? You just want your parents or whoever this is, you're trying to make an impression on you want them to make you want to make them think you in some kind of stable connection, or this is your person, your ex. Trying to make people think they're still with you. Y'all still got something going on. This still your family when y'all divorce. Yeah, this look like to me somebody lying to their family and friends like y'all still together and, you know, everything moving on. The death card only caught up right. That's you standing up in your power. That's you controlling your essence. That's you, that's you empowering who you really are. Like keeping it to yourself. Not letting nobody get none of your essence, none of your power. You're not going for it. That's an old trick. They got to come with something new now. All right, clarify parents' rejection and denial. <clears throat> I feel like, Scorpio, if you got something going on with your parents, you know, I feel like, you know, you shouldn't have a, a different set of rules for people. I feel like parents, 
children, what well, people, people. People, people deal with people by their experiences, by their maturity, their age. It's all different type of factors with how, why people deal with things the way they do. But all I'm saying is, with the judgment in reverse, it's like, if you, whatever you, whatever Scorpio it is, you holding against your parents or whatever this is, you felt like they did to corrupt you and make you feel this way and just long for acceptance and um, longing for longing to be a part of something. That's the reason why you stay in these different, you know, deceptive ass connections. Listen, the judgment in reverse. Forgive yourself and forgive your parents and move forward. The Queen of Swords is coming out in reverse. You could have blocked your parents. You could have moved away from your parents. That's fine and good. But I just feel like everybody need to have their say. It needs to be out in the open. That's the only way you're going to be able to deal with, you know, these different scenarios and not, you know, feel like you being, you being, uh, you know, you're doing everything so that somebody does not reject you. Even if that means being a kiss ass and a pushover. That's not your energy, Scorpio. That's your per. This is the person energy. The moon card. <laughs> This person just all over the place. This person have a lot of secrets. I feel like with a judgment in reverse, though, this person catching pure hell. I feel like their parents probably don't talk to their ass. This person could have, like I said, this person could have did. This person could have dealt too with like drug drug issues, like stealing from their parents or something like that. I'm getting. Let's see. Why is um the ten of pentacles in reverse here? I feel like this person is penniless. I feel like, yeah, the Page of Pentacles. I feel like they, they took a loss recently. A huge loss. It feels like this is a loss due to, like, gambling or, um, you know, maybe they, they were on drugs and kept calling and work and got fired off a good job here. But with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like this person, you know, they, they offering you this, this one little Page of Pentacles. Like, they don't have the Ten of Pentacles. But th that's what they're offering you. Okay, so Scorpio, basically, <clears throat> what I'm trying to get at, this person is coming towards you like, it's all good. Let's pick up where we left off. Let's move forward in this connection. What, whatever, whatever we did in the past, let's let bygones be bygones. And let's just move forward. With the judgment in reverse, the queen of swords and the moon in reverse, let's just move forward. But this not the energy like the fool card. This is the energy like you stupid as fuck fool card. This fool card in reverse, Scorpio, you not no fucking fool. You ain't even getting this person a chance. You don't have no emotions. The king of cups in reverse. The king of pentacles, you don't feel nothing towards this person. You guarded. Why is guarded here? And this person just keep coming. Yeah, the eight of wands in reverse. You block this person. All communication. Social media, everything. Yeah, the sun in reverse. Because this person made you happy. I feel like you laying low. With the eight of wands in reverse, the sun in reverse, and guarded, you're laying low. Yeah, the ten of cups being happy. People don't know where the fuck you at or what you doing. You somewhere being happy as fuck. You somewhere enjoying your life. Why these people are miserable. They're miserable because they can't talk about you no more. They're miserable because they can't find a pic. Or they can't find, you know, something to talk about. The four of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, because you cut all of them off. You release these energies. You don't want these people around you at your fucking bridal shower, at your fucking wedding. You know, why would you want these people around? The people who always wish bad on you. I'm getting that too. And this person just feel like they can come back around and just like take you for all you got again. Bitch, you, you, you crazy. It's not going to happen. So I feel like Scorpio, your person... <clears throat> Dealing with parent issues, like denial, rejection, abandonment. Like, I feel like y'all shit was doomed from the beginning. This person didn't know nothing about relationships. They don't even know their daddy I just heard. Protected. Somebody this, somebody was raised um, with a house full of women. I ain't saying nothing wrong with it. But I'm just getting that. So, I'm protected. You have the king of wands. Yeah, somebody always taking action. Towards you, Scorpio. Somebody, somebody always taking action to protect you, your ancestors here. But with the King of Wands being here, I feel like this somebody new. 
Yeah, the Knight of Wands. I feel like it's somebody, you know, exciting, somebody very passionate. I feel like the sex is real good, okay? I feel like y'all haven't protected sex. Who am I talking to? You're not trying to get married or pregnant or nothing like that, but I feel like this person is excited. This person may maybe reminds you of your baby dad or your ex-husband, but a good, clean version. What else? Yeah, I feel like this person, um, they could be younger than, than you, or you could be younger than them, Scorpio. Take it how it resonates. But with the Seven of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and the King of Wands, I feel like this person, you know, they got a lot of admirers, a lot of people who... You know, like to hang out with them. A lot of women, friends, or male. Take it how it resonates. I just feel like there's somebody who people, you know, normally gravitate to and enjoy their company. So, but with this person, I feel like they they like to date. But I feel like once they date you, it's like all the other dates start fading off. It's like, okay, you want to go out Saturday? Okay, you want to? I'm going to so and so on the weekend. You want to fly out with me? It's like y'all start occupying more, more, more of each other's time. That's why I feel like this connection with this fool just kind of faded out because of this connection. It says your person is an image is emotionally immature, and I won't go back to daycare. Clarify that. Man, you ain't trying to raise no man. Yeah, the eight of swords. Yeah, I just feel like you, you with this with the Eight of Swords, I mean, that's emotionally immature. This is like a self-imposed prison. Somebody who, you know, weak as fuck, the strength card in reverse, they don't want, they don't want to work. This person don't want to work. They lost their job or something, too. The King of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. This person not stable. I'm here too. If you think this person left you, Scorpio, because of another woman, for some of you guys, this is a side message. They left y'all because they were drug addicted. Yeah, the page of swords in reverse. This person didn't want you to see them like that. This person didn't want you to see them at their worst, Scorpio. That's why they ghosted you. Yeah, this person was fucked up in the mind. The drugs had them gone. Like, you wouldn't even recognize this person. Two years ago, three years ago. Pussy power, you got the Ten of Cups. I feel like whoever this King of Wands, Knight of Wands energy is, I feel like it's somebody that makes you happy at the time. I feel like, you know... I feel like y'all sexual chemistry is off the chain. You guys enjoy um hanging out but most of all y'all like at the end of the night you know the five of pentacles in reverse i feel like you make this person feel alive you make this person feel like they belong like they're a part of something yeah the six of swords yeah scorpio i feel like you you make this i feel like you make this person realize that you know there is life after trauma. There is life after abandonment and all this. Like, all you have to do is love on yourself. Forgive yourself and forgive others who, you know, did you fucked up. Life is full of that. You done did people fucked up. They done did you fucked up. Shit full circle. That's that on there. Let's see. What's the advice here for Scorpio? What's the advice? On, you just guard it, Scorpio. You're not letting nobody come in and fuck with your happiness, your health, your strength, your livelihood, none of that. I feel like you stay prayed up. Because <laughs> you protected that card came right out the garden. So it's just saying, don't let your guards down no more. Fuck what people say, be you. If, you. if a person can't get past your guards, then that's not your person. If a person think you cold, then you ain't the person for them. You're the star. You could be dealing with Aquarius. This could be the new person. Could be Aquarius. Yeah, every time I see that star, that star card, I just, I just feel like self worth. Like you know who you are. Like you're not gonna let nobody just tell you any fucking thing, and you move forward with them. Now it got to make sense. It got to make sense. That's just done on that. What else? What's the advice? Two minutes, Scorpio. I feel like, too, this person honors you, Scorpio. 
They don't let they don't let their family talk shit. I feel like somebody family talking shit too. With the ten ten of um pinnacles in reverse with the page of pinnacles upright. This could be um your baby mama, somebody saying, you know, you're not giving them child support, or this could be you not receiving child support, but this person, you know, going on in a new relationship with somebody else, everybody looking happy on social media, like they got a bag, they showing trips, but you ain't getting your child support. Okay. Yeah, the two of cups with the star. Yeah, I feel like you meet somebody that's, you know, they real calm, Scorpio, the three of cups. This is a real, like, meek person. They like to, you know, drink on a little drink or whatever, sip, they go to work. You know, some this person could own their own business, but their main focus is always the Six of Swords. Moving moving away from the work day and whatever, stressing them out and moving towards you. I feel like you're at peace. I feel like the moment you're in this person's view, their life just feels better to them. That's how they view you. Yeah, the two of swords. <laughs> the pay, the um queen of pentacles. This person sees you as, as very abundant and beautiful, Scorpio. Very resourceful. Somebody who is emotionally mature. Somebody who's not guarded with them. Okay, they, they, they understand how you treat your relationship, Scorpio. And they want to be a big part of that. And But the thing about the two of swords is... It's a difficult decision that needs to be made. And I feel like with the star card, the two of cups, the three of cups, this person is thinking proposal or this person is going to propose. And it's like, but it's one of those things I feel like when they say, when you marry me, you like don't, you, you know, you tell them you can't answer it right now. With the two of swords. Why is the two of swords? So it's like this person waiting on you to respond. Yeah, the page of the ace of pentacles. <clears throat> I feel like Scorpio, you got a lot of doors opening for you, a lot of miracles and opportunities. So I feel like with the page of pentacles, I feel like this no this new person is like telling you all that I am and all that I have, I want to give it to you. You know, what's your decision? Is this something you want to do? Am I wasting my time? Do I need to move forward? Because I feel like this person, they are a good man or a good woman, and they know where they're going with this shit. They don't, they don't like I said, they're real calm and meek. They don't like tumultuous shit. They know what it takes for a connection to last, and they're willing to do that with you, but they just want to know, do you desire me? Do you want me? What else? Yeah, this person putting everything out on the line. The Six of Cups came out in reverse. Your person keeps showing up because the old person. Because, like I said, they want to aggravate your demon, Scorpio. They think you still got shit going on. You don't. You're a different person. Why is the Six of Cups in reverse? I feel like, too, yeah, they heard about you getting married or whatever. Or this proposal or this new connection you in. This, and it's heartbreaking to them. It's heartbreaking that you chose somebody else over them. Even though they fucked everything up single-handedly. All right. So this person very persistent, Scorpio. Why? Because it's playing on their heartstrings and their mind. The Five of Swords, they can't get, get you out of your out of their head. It's like the more that they know somebody else is loving on you, they, it's like it makes them very anxious. And they, they suffer from anxiety and depression. That's when they start drinking heavily. Why is the Five of Cups here? This person wants you to think they are right, though. They want you to think they change and that they want to build the Three of Pentacles in reverse. That they want to collab with you or they still want some kind of connection with you. But this person, they, you know, they lack money. They, they, This person is very lazy, slothful, I'm hearing. Okay, this person is a big dreamer, but they never put action with it. This is your ex. I don't know why he keeps showing up. Alright, that's going to be the last two. So the overall energy is the Wheel of Fortune. So it's destiny and fate here. I feel like the, the wheel turns in your favor, Scorpio. Yeah, the four wands. Two people coming together. Two households merging. I feel like this person does propose a new person. Yeah, the seven of pentacles. And I feel like this person is very patient with you, Scorpio. I feel like they, you know, y'all could have two different places that have to merge. Or it could be the, the instance where somebody living in an apartment and somebody own a house. I just feel like with that Seven of Pentacles, y'all are figuring out what y'all need to do to, to merge. 
okay, the three of pentacles in reverse, it's like, what do we do? We both got our own situations going on, but I just want you near, I want you close, I want you here every night, like, how do we do this? So that's what it looks like is going on. Let me get a, um, let me get a quick energy right here and see what's up. We're going to get out of here, Scorp. Whoa. Give me two. Right. One more. All right, a whole bag of them. Whole handful. You got crack shot, competent, superior, precise, expert, sharp tongue. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you um, Scorpios are just speaking your truth. That's what that is, crack shot. What what you see is what you get. What comes up come out, comes out. Symphony here. This is two threes. A lot of you guys could be seeing three, three, three. You could be seeing six, 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 nine, nine, nine. Okay, the number one diamond. Yeah, I feel like somebody's proposing to you. I feel like your life is really coming together, Scorpio. Peace, harmony, love. Okay, and then you have still, refinement, taste, culture, style, fine tune, fine wine. Yes, you are, Scorpio. Say yes to the dress. Say yes to him. It says number two. 50-50 at this time, things could go either way. Trust, trust your intuition, Scorpio, and keep moving forward. And then it says, check a fact, conclusion, outcome, finale, completion, verdict, settled. Yeah, I feel like that's where you at with that old, with that past energy. And I just feel like you're moving forward. The overall energy says, sword and scale, truth, justice, and due process. Yeah, Scorpio, that's just that on fucking that. If you're still with me, like, subscribe, join, let those ads play for at least 30 seconds so your girl can get all the credit from YouTube. If you like a personal reading with me, everything you need to know is in the description box below. I love you guys, Scorpio, and I'll see you in the next video.